Okay, this video is about problems to do with area. The first set I'm going to have a look at here is to do with flooring. So here's a house plan here. Now say what you have to do is you have to put chipboard all over the floor of this house. And the chipboard measures 3,600 millimetres by 900 millimetres. Well, how many pieces of chipboard are you going to need? Now to work out this problem, it's going to take a number of steps. What we're going to have to work out is we're going to have to work out the area that the whole floor covers as well as the area of the chipboard itself. And then we're going to have to use these figures to work out how many pieces of chipboard we need. We're then going to approach this problem from a different angle where we're going to actually lay the chipboard down just to see if there's any difference and then how we might cater for these differences. So first off we'll work out the area of the floor itself. What we'll do is we split it up and then we end up with two little sections. The little section at the top, the area of that is going to be equal to 5.09 by 4.2. And the answer to this is 21.38 metres. We notice that I have this tendency to actually change everything to metres. I generally find, because most ordering occurs in metres squared, you may want to change all your uh, measurements to metres first. The area of the one beneath it is going to be 12 by 8.8 .8 metres, which is going to give you a total of 105 metres squared. The total of those ones all together, 21.38 plus 105.6, gives us a total floor space of 126.98 metres, or roughly 127 metres, which we'll put up the top. Now the next thing we're going to have to look at is the area of the chipboard itself. OK, now the chipboard measures 3.6 metres by 0.9 metres. 3.6 by 0.9 gives us an answer of 3.24, which we'll put just under our little thing where I wrote where how big the floor was. So the floor is 127, the area of the chipboard is 3.24 metres. OK, the final thing we have to find out is how many pieces of the chipboard are needed. We will work this out by getting the area of the floor and dividing into it the area of each bit of chipboard. So 127 metres squared divided by 3.24 metres squared gives us 39.2. Now you can't buy 39.2 pieces of chipboard, so we're going to need 40 pieces of chipboard. OK, so let's see how this actually compares to if we go through and we lay out each bit of chipboard. OK, this has been done right now. And as you can see, all up, we need 48 pieces of chipboard. This is a bit of a difference from what we actually worked out. We said we only needed 40 pieces of chipboard when we worked it out using area. We lay it out and it look, looks like we actually need 48 pieces as well. We can see the reason for this. If we go through on our plan here and start actually removing the pieces of chipboard, which could be sourced as offcuts from elsewhere on the actual plan. So if we do that, what we can see is there's five pieces of chipboard here that actually could easily be gotten as off cuts. So 48, take away 5, gives us about 43 pieces if we do it this way. It's still a little bit over, so what I actually recommend is you call it around about a 10% wastage if you're working it out from the actual numbers like we did originally. Okay, so that'd be about 44 sheets we need all together. So that's how you work at that sort of problem. There's a few things to consider, but it's really, really worth knowing how to do. Now let's consider a different problem involving area. Here's a little problem here regarding a brick wall. Now, we've got a brick wall with the dimensions given, but we don't need to put bricks in where there's a window and there's a door, so we're going to have to work out all up how much area we need. On top of this, a little bit later, I'm going to give you a little bit where it's going to say there's this many bricks per square metre, how many bricks do we need? So the first thing we have to work out will actually be what the actual area of the bricked part of the wall is. OK, first off we'll look at the actual entire wall, including the windows and doors. OK, the area of this wall here is going to be 13.7 by 2.4, which equals 32.88 metres squared. OK, so let's work out the area of the window that we have to get rid of. The area of the window is 1.8 by 1.8, which is going to be 3.24 metres squared. We're going to end up getting rid of that. 
Okay, the next we're going to work out the area of the door, another area which we're going to have to get rid of. Okay, this is going to be 2.1 by 0 0.9 metres, the answer to this, which is 1.89 metres squared. So this is another area we're going to have to get rid of. So, all up the area in total is going to be the area of the wall, take away the area of the window and the area of the door, which is 32.88, take away 3.24, take away 1.89, which leaves us with 27.75 metres squared. So the area of the bricked part of the wall is just under 28 metres squared. We'll take this problem just one little step further. Say that you get 49 bricks per square metre. Well, how many bricks are you going to need for the entire job? So what we have to do is get 49 and times it by that 27.75, which gives us 1,360 bricks. Now, we'll add a 10% wastage to this. So 10%, 1360 is 136. So 1360 plus 136 means it all up, we'd need 1496 bricks for this lovely wall here. Okay, these are just two of the type of examples you get with using area. Okay, so good to practice. Good luck on those. Bye.